Well, a missed opportunity for us here at home. Uh, you certainly want to start off your A-10 homestand with a victory. And I thought our game plan was great. Coach Glenn Box did an outstanding job on the scout. And I thought we were tuned in. I thought defensively, for the most part, did a nice job. Held them under 60 points. Really did a nice job of protecting the paint. Uh, had some breakdowns, uh, both in the first and the second half. Um, but gave them some second chance opportunities. So our defense was good in its early defense, but when the shot went up, they got offensive glass and putbacks. And they beat us to lose balls. They were much more athletic than we were in terms of playing in the air and coming down with shots and, and or to coming down with the ball to go up for a great shot. Um, and it just was uh, a game where we could never get over the hump in the second half. Poor shooting, 24% the first half is not going to win you a whole lot of games. 29% for the game is not going to win you a lot of games. Though we had some great opportunities, missed layups. Once again, it seems to be a common theme that we've got to find a way to, to make not only uncontested layups, but layups in traffic. Um, we did get to the free throw line 17 times, made 14 of them. That's a positive. Um, but our, when you look go right down the scoring list here, um, some, some not very good shooting. Um, but I thought Maddie Gitz was a great bright light for us. She had nine rebounds, eight points in her minutes played. I thought she played great one-on-one -on -one defense in the post. Um, really makes me think about us moving forward in terms of playing Sadie and Maddie together. I think we'd be very, very good together. Had to overcome some foul trouble with Macy and Sadie on the bench for a length of time. And Olivia, um, Jenny, um, the two of them struggled a little bit tonight, but uh, that's on characteristic because usually one of them picks it up. Um, in a, in a tempo, I thought we got into a track meet with, with VCU, and that's that was a race we were not going to win. Once we settled in, got a little mo momentum back, I think it was like seven, seven and a half to play in the game, really started to chip away and feel a more confident. Uh, 18 turnovers, not bad against a team like that. Ten in the first half were costly, but we had a turnover out and out of bounds, but we just threw it out of bounds because the player wasn't looking. Little things like that uh, cost you because they're possessions that you'd like to have back. Um, well, we're back to even, and we're down one in the lead. We've got to fight back, and the only way to do that is to go on the road and, and do our best to beat Duquesne, a good team, a team we've not had great success with in the past. But uh, a day off tomorrow, regroup, get the scout in, go out there on the road and, and uh, see what we can do at Duquesne, and come back here in a week uh, against Davidson. I mean, every single game is important. Um, I'm not a coach to say that uh, there's a lot of games to be played yet, because there's not. Every single game needs to be the best game of your life, and we need to approach it that way and take it in stride in terms of um, knowing the importance and the value of every single opportunity. When we come back on, at home, we've got to get that back. Um, when you lose it on the, at home, you got to somehow make up for it on the road and then come back and protect your home court. Um, our team's got to get better. We've got to play better than we did tonight, and, uh, and we will. We've got uh, some, some young kids that are, are getting some great experience, but uh, we've got to play more consistent for a longer period of time and uh, not get discouraged. Hang in there and keep on fighting.